The Highlands, Mr. Carver. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, the Premier stated that the teaching of evolution will become optional in Alberta public schools if parents object on religious grounds. Eighty-three years after the Scopes monkey trial in Tennessee, teaching evolution in public schools will again be prohibited for some children. Why will the Premier allow some children to be denied a balanced, scientific and objective education? The Honourable the Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that statement is totally wrong. He was in the news conference yesterday. That statement is totally wrong, and I asked him to withdraw it. He wants to ask questions about the act that was, was put here before the legislature. That's fine. But don't come here with wrong information. I heard the Premier confirm it, and uh, so did reporters, because it's been also uh, contained in, in, the, uh, um, in, in the news coverage of his uh, news conference yesterday. So uh, I want to know how far this Premier is prepared to go in allowing parental choice based on religious views to affect what children are taught in public schools. Will Holocaust deniers be able to claim religious grounds to prevent their children from learning about the Holocaust? Will those who believe in the subordination of women be able to prevent the their children the from learning about the human rights? The Honourable the Premier. Mr. Uh, Speaker, uh, this government supports a very, very fundamental right, and that is parental rights with respect to education. The proposed amendments are very clear. These are amendments to the legislation that was introduced in this House yesterday. And this is how uh, you can, and I mentioned to the media, when you start talking about human rights, it's very easy to crank up headlines because sometimes people state, uh, or sometimes the media will try just to crank up the emotion, either through fear or some other means. But emotion gets past the hard evidence of what's before this House. Simply said, the amendments or the human rights legislation simply confirm rights that parents or guardians have already concerning the education of their children. Parents or guardians would have the right to exempt their children from courses of study, programs, or materials that include subject matter dealing explicitly with religious instruction, sexuality, or sexual orientation. This is already in the manual that uh, the Department of Education has. This is simply putting it into the The Honourable Member. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I hope to get the same consideration as the Premier. This government just spent $25 million of taxpayers' money to give Alberta a new image. All they've done is to make Alberta look like Northumberland and sound like Arkansas. Albertans are embarrassed by this government's ineptitude. When will the Premier start projecting an image of Albertans that is as modern, progressive, and culturally sophisticated as Albertans actually are? The Honourable the Premier. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I'm glad he asked that question. Just look at this caucus. And you tell me, you find me another caucus in the country of Canada that is more diverse than right here in the Alberta legislature. 